All right, hey Virgo, so I'm doing you versus them. And you're gonna know this is your read. Basically, throughout the whole dynamic, your energy, how you feel about them, what you want to happen with the connection. So if it doesn't resonate, please check your other placements. And if you guys are new, welcome. I do hope that you'll subscribe if you like my vibe. And let's just see how you're feeling, Virgo, your energy. All right, so there you are. There you are, single, independent, probably wondering what's going on with the dynamic of this um, connection. Um, maybe even feeling like you're at an impasse, all right? I feel like right now you're just focusing on your material wealth, your independence, and your abundance, um, right? If somebody's being indecisive or you're just really feeling unsure about what path this connection is going to grow towards or maybe even go away from, it's like you're, you're, I feel like your energy is really positive, okay? It could be, too, that you're kind of stubborn, all right? Um, because the king did drop in reverse. I think it was the king. Um, so it's like I'm not going to approach this person if they want to, you know, choose to come to towards me or to make a move on this connection. They can, you know, they can put in a little bit, a little bit of legwork. I feel like the two of wands is coming through as um, being kind of indecisive. I'm not really sure wh what path you and this person are going to go down. So and because you're um, just kind of in the unknown, I feel like you're just focusing on yourself, paying attention to yourself, your independence and focusing on your your financial growth. Um, there's like there's two main dynamics, right? Money and love, money and love. Let's see what their energy is. What is this person's energy? Their energy guarded uncertain they are coming through as uncertain look at that really upset sad sad about how everything's kind of gone through probably sad too because you're not really paying them any mind you're not chasing them around they're kind of coming through as um you know uncertain uh what was that tower card coming through so going through a little bit of emotional um you know a little bit of emotions Wounded warrior coming through and how do I handle this um, situation? I feel like this person's probably feeling a little bit lost. Um, however lost, they do want to talk to you. And I feel like they're looking at you as somebody they're very deeply connected to. Um, <clears throat> let's see how you feel about them. How you feel about this person. The Empress card coming through is home, comfort, security. It's a soulmate dynamic. I feel like you're still very attracted to this person regardless of how everything's not happening right now. Okay. Um, the King of Wands is coming through as somebody who's um, a visionary. Somebody who, um, you know, probably has a lot of eyes on them just as well. I feel like you do want to talk to this person with that eight of... I feel like you do want to talk to him. Sorry, I had to move the cat. You do want to talk to him. But it's almost like because the Empress is coming in sideways. It's almost like this person's unsure of themselves. It could be too, you guys. that um, You see this person that might have some stored emotions when it comes to Divine Feminine relationships, you know, that they've had in their life. And it could probably put them in a... Um, it doesn't matter, you know, how much, how many eyes, how social this person can be, how independent they can come off. I almost feel like there's something that's kind of stopping them, um, their, their confidence in themselves. You know, the Empress I feel comes through as a very strong, um, card, somebody who's very self-assured, but because of the way it dropped, I just feel like you kind of see the uncertainty that lies within this person. And it's like, they need to remove self-limiting beliefs you know why don't you see in yourself what everybody else sees in you is almost how i'm kind of seeing that let's see how they feel about you also too you're probably looking at them as a soulmate or a soul connection a deep um a deep connection so how they feel about you they don't want it to be over but i do feel like they have feared that it's over all right um, also, too, there's a recognition, I feel, within this person that they know that they have to remove um, the unsettling beliefs and ideas in order to actually call in a proper relationship with you. And I feel like they do. I feel like you've actually been somebody that's shown them that how they feel about you is wanting to move away from those energies so that they can move forward with you. 
All right. You are everything this person wishes. Um, but it's almost like you, it's almost like you have shown this person where um, they could actually use some, some healing and maybe it didn't pan out the way you thought it was going to be. But it's like, after the fact, I feel like this person's kind of recognizing and realizing that there's some growth that needs to be done. And it's probably because you've kind of helped point that out, point them in the right, right, right direction, um, no matter what kind of transpired or unfolded in between you guys. Um, let's see what you want to happen with this. What do you want from this? Virgo, you want healing. You guys could be seeing 777 a lot. All right. Um, what you want to happen with this is healing. I feel like you want this person to kind of let down their guards. You want to be able to trust the situation. All right. And it could be too that this person has given you reasons not to trust them or the relationship dynamic, um, especially depending on where their head is at. I feel like with conflict comes resolution. And that's probably what you're thinking when it comes to the dynamic here and healing most of all. All right. Wanting to heal the connection so that you guys can grow and move forward. Um, that's where I see your energy sitting at. So let's see what they want to happen with the connection. What did they want from this? They want to come out of, they want to come out of their, their head. All right. I feel like what they want from this is to remove doubts and worries, negative energy. Um, we got more feminine energy coming through and actually both of these dropped in the reverse. But I feel like it's because this person's kind of knowing that they need, I just feel like you're dealing with somebody who extremely needs to heal divine feminine. The page of swords also coming in reverse is all talk and no action, um, impulsive, you know, um, unfocused type of energy. And I feel like this person, they, it could be that they've dealt with people like this. It could be that they're still dealing with people who are codependent. They lack self-love, self-care. They uh, a lack of emotional stability. Um, they lack, um, you know, having a sense of self, you know, at all. Um, you know, cold-hearted, easily influenced by outsiders, overly emotional, um, I feel like this person is recognizing that they need to release these energies in order to be able to move forward. All right. And I feel like whoever you're talking to, whoever you guys are dealing with, I feel like they recognize that. And I feel like they want to move away from the energies and the negative experiences that probably most likely, here's what I feel. I almost feel like for whoever I'm talking to, and I, I feel like there's a strong male presence here that's dealing with a female that deals with other females in, in their social circle. It's it's negative, negative, negative energy everywhere. That is not going to be for everybody. And that's not the whole demise of this read. Okay. But I feel like there is a, a male here that needs to hear that there's a, fem, a female that's, she's getting too much. She's getting too much in her ear from every single, it's like, have this person does not have any control over their own life because it's based around what family, and I feel like this is toxic energy too. Um, what family and friends say, um, instead of giving this person that you're dealing with a, a mind of their own, um, that's not going to be for everybody. You know, I feel like this person does deep down recognize that they need to move away from the negative energies that are coming through here. And possibly even if it's not fem feminine energies, it's energies that kept this person in a lower vibrational state of mind, male or female alike. Okay. Um, I feel like what they want to happen is is first and foremost healing and i feel like they can recognize that um but in order to move forward with you they have to come out of where what state of mind they're in now um so let's just see what your next move should be when it comes to this you don't do anything you let this person come to you all right the the hermit card is just saying keep to yourself and let this person come to you don't wait all right, maybe, maybe if anything, expect that everything will come through as you wish. All right, but you can stay to yourself. You don't have to go through and, and jump through hoops. You don't need to go through and cause your own um, heart some pain or heartache. Just w allow everything basically to unfold. All right, and you know, the hermit card too, I just feel is telling you, you, you can just stay back. You don't need to go approach this person. Let them come to you with that three of wands. Um but send some positive energy out to the universe on behalf of this person. Pray, pray on their behalf for their healing um, and their strength. Let's see what their next move will be when it comes to this dynamic. What will their move be? Oh, you got wish fulfillment coming through twice. What's their next move going to be? I feel like 
Oh, look at they're coming back. There's going to be some hesitation though. So it might go a little bit past the 30 day intentions that I usually set. Um, but they will make a decision to come back, to come forward to you. And I do feel like they're going to have some positive news and some renewed sense of energy when it comes to the dynamic with you. Um, I almost feel like you guys are dealing with somebody who just maybe lets too many people in their, in their over opinions kind of take control and it's not unheard of really it's not unheard of the adults um it, they intermingle with other adults and have a hard time letting go of the toxic relationships but in order to heal that's what we have to do i do feel like this person's coming back and i feel like it's going to be on a positive aspect so let's see what they want to tell you what does this person want you to know oh wow they can see a big future with you Basically, I'm sorry for letting anybody hinder our growth. I'm sorry that we weren't able to move forward a long time ago because of everything that I've been through and everything that I've allowed to kind of transpire and happen here. But I do see a big picture with you. I see marriage. I see potential and I see a future. Give me a little bit of time to move past, all right, the toxic situations that I need to move past in order to come towards you is what I feel. That's what I feel is coming through. I need to heal so that I can move forward with you. And I, I see that. I see that. I see the potential with you, you know, ultimately you make me very happy. What is your advice? The advice for Virgo, the next 30 days. Look at that. All right. So what I feel is coming through is this person's going to be moving away from um, stressful, the stress, the more stressful um, people, the more stressful energy in this, in their life. I feel like they're coming back through um, and marching to the beat of their own drum. All right, in the next 30 days, I do feel like there's going to be a reinstallation of love here. Um, don't rush it, especially if this person's still kind of uh, processing through, um, you know, negative aspects and energies. But I do feel like what's happening is they are walking away from people that keep them in the low vibe energy. All right. So Virgo, I'm going to leave it there, you guys. I hope you have a beautiful weekend. You guys take care.